Hey Yogi and welcome back to your practice. So today we're gonna keep it short, sweet, and simple. We're gonna really uh, bring some ease, call in some ease to our practice and flow. Connect to our breath and enjoy, okay? So this week's stone is a red tiger's eye. I know it's small, but red tiger's eye is one of my absolute favorite stones. It's really great to wake your being up as well as wake up the sacral chakra. It's good to stimulate the organs down there and boost your confidence to gain motivation and stop procrastination. So it's actually a really good one if you are having a hard time getting on your mat, staying on your mat, and having the motivation to follow through, right? This is also going to be a great practice today for maybe you've missed your mat for a while or you need something just short, simple, just to get you through the day, okay? So feel free to do it over and over. Feel free to come back to it when you don't have a lot of time, okay? So meet me in a seated position with your legs out long, and I'll meet you there on your mat. All right, let's get started. So now that you're in your seated position, we're really gonna kind of just get comfortable. So tuck the tush off to the side here. Make sure your legs are sitting out long and they're comfortable. And I like to give my legs a little bit of a shake to kind of shed the unneeded, the unwanted excess energy. So if you need to kind of shake them out a little vigorously, please do. You can shake them out a little softly if that's what you need. Do what is great for you in this moment, okay? So first we're gonna come into staff pose. You're gonna see staff pose a few times throughout this practice. So really feel it out and make sure that it feels good for you. So we're gonna take our fingertips out in front of us and we're just gonna place the palms down by our sides, down by our hips, and we're gonna press the palms into the ground. So this is going to kind of force us to sit up straight you're gonna make sure you're opening up the chest, not letting your shoulders sag, and engaging the core. The core is such a key element within our practice. It helps sit us up straight, it helps do the work for us so that our back and our shoulders are not overcompensating, okay? So really press firmly into the ground. You're gonna flex the feet as you engage the core, sitting up straight, perfect. And now we're just going to bring a little bit of conscious breathing and awareness to our body. So go ahead and inhale through the nose, inhaling deeply, and exhaling out the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling out the mouth deeply. And you're going to make sure as you're exhaling to really pull the core in. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. One more time, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. That is your Ujjayi breath and feel free to come back to it whenever you need a boost of energy within this practice today, okay? So now we're just gonna let our breath go back to normal, just inhaling and exhaling. Okay, next we are going to let our arms come up, lengthen up, spread the fingers and really reach up, grow an inch, right? And now we're going to bend the elbows back and down, passing through 90 degrees, making sure that we're opening up the chest. And as we pull our elbows back and down, it's going to force our shoulder blades to pull together. Keeping the chin to the chest, not really looking up or anything, just maintaining that posture within your neck. Go ahead and exhale, and then reach back up as you inhale, spread the fingers, exhale, Palms come back down into staff pose, flex the feet, inhale, slide the palms down to the ankles, forward fold. Exhale deeply, and then you're gonna inhale, pass through staff and down into Savasana. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, push yourself up. Fingertips come back behind you, facing away from you. Now we're gonna keep our chin to our chest. We're gonna come into fish pose. So if you need to bend the elbows a little bit for a little bit more range of motion, please do so. And then you're gonna pull the shoulder blades together, bring the chest to the sky. Inhale and exhale to release. Next is boat pose. So we're gonna really find that sweet spot between our butt and our lower back, kind of resting around our tailbone. So right at that point where we're almost gonna fall back is where we wanna find that sweet spot. You can bring the hands to the back of the thighs. And now we want to bring our ankles up so they're in line with our knees here. I'm gonna flex the feet or point the toes, whatever feels good for you. I find that flexing the feet helps me maintain strength. And you can even bring your feet up so they're in a V here. Bring the palms out if you'd like. You can even bring the palms out with your, your knees in line with your ankles, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, legs come out long, come back into staff pose. Inhale, palms slide down to the ankles, exhale. Inhale, reach up, exhale back into a seated sun, chest lifts to the sky, inhale, arms come back up, exhale, palms float back down into staff. Now we're just going to flow through that a couple more times. So if you need a few more rounds of my cues, go ahead and rewind it one more time and go through it. If not, then let's continue. And I'm gonna give you a few less cues. Make sure that with each transition into poses, you're breathing and connecting to your breath. We're really looking for a flow feeling, for an ease and just free practice today, okay? Okay, staff pose, press the palms on the ground, perfect. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, arms come to the sky, spread the fingers. Inhaling, exhaling back into the seat of the sun. Inhaling, arms come back up. Exhaling, staff pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up past the step. Exhale, savasana. Inhale, push up into fish pose. Fingertips back and behind you. Chest lifts to the sky. Perfect. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, boat pose. Exhale, down into staff. Inhale, exhale into forward fold. Inhaling, coming up, reaching up. Exhaling, seated sun. Inhaling, arms come up, spread the fingers. Exhaling, back in the staff pose. Yes. We're gonna go through it again. Inhaling and exhaling into forward fold. Inhaling, passing through staff and laying down into savasana. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, push up into fish. Chest lifts to the sky, really open it up here. Exhale, staff pose. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Exhale, boat pose. Inhale, boat. Inhale, exhale into staff. Inhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, seated side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, staff pose. Inhale, push into the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pass through staff. Lie down in the savasana. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, push yourself up into fish. Lift the chest. 
Exhale, release. Inhale, boat pose. Really use the core. Pull yourself up. Be strong. Exhale, staff pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, seated sun. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, staff pose. One more time, we're really gonna connect to your breath and we're really gonna flow, okay? I'm just gonna give you the cues of the poses and flow through it. And then we're gonna move on to the meat and the core of our practice. So inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, seated side. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, staff pose. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pass through staff. Exhale, lie down into Savasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale into fish. Push your chest up, yes. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, come up into boat. Exhale, staff pose. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, oh, exhale, elbows reach down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, staff pose. Ah, yes. Okay, now we're gonna come into a B pose. So we are going to bring the soles of the feet together. Your legs are gonna hang out out wide or your knees are going to hang out wide and you're going to inhale chest lifts up just a little bit and exhale fold forward we're going to sit here for just a moment and then we're going to move in between this pose and another pose i'm going to show you okay so really relax into the pose let yourself settle into your practice let your mind let go of anything no longer serving you today. Close your eyes. Connect to your breath. About three more breaths here. And go ahead, inhale as you lift up, walk yourself up slowly, no rush. Now we're gonna bring our legs out in front of us long. And we're gonna do a forward fold. So we're gonna really just hang out here for a minute and then we're gonna begin to flow in between the two poses, okay? So settle in, let the neck and head relax. Connecting to the breath and closing the eyes if you need. Settle in. Three more breaths. Inhale, walk yourself up. Hi. Okay, go ahead and come back into B, letting the knees hang out wide, the soles of the feet come together. You're gonna inhale, exhale into B. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up. Soles of the feet come together. Exhale, calm down. B pose. Inhale, come up. Exhale, legs hang out long. Come into your forward fold. Inhale, come up. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees out long. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. 
and exhale forward fold. Inhale, exhale deep fold. Inhale up, exhale deep fold. Inhale up, exhale deep fold. Inhale up, exhale forward fold. Now I'm going to let you continue on your own. So I will let you know when it's time to finish. Really enjoy your breath. Enjoy the transition between the two poses and enjoy this part of your practice, okay? So unless you need a little bit of direction, there's really no need to look up here for another couple minutes, okay? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, on your own, okay? And try to move with your breath and not your mind. So you'll move more fluid with your breath. Your mind is might be a little bit more fast. You really want to connect and hone into the breath, okay? Go ahead and do it two more times. Really exhaling into the palm. Make each breath count. And meet me back in the staff pose. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Perfect. Now we're just going to bring our knees up into mountain posture here. We're going to wrap our hands around our knees, around the front of our knees, almost like our shins, right? And we're going to pull the palms into the knees and pull the chest through. So lifting up the chest, pulling the shoulder blades together and keeping the chin rested down by the chest. Inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead and let the legs come back down and long. Now we're just going to fold our legs together, really reaching up, pulling our elbows back and down and releasing. Next we're going to just take a little bit of a lateral, so I'll actually face you. So we're just going to let our legs rest wherever is comfortable, wherever feels good to you right now. We're going to take our left arm down by our side and reach our right hand up and over, 
creating a little bit of a C shape in our spine. Breathing into it, perfect. Really opening up that side body, letting the ribs expand and breathing into the ribs. Good, inhale, come through center and exhale to the other side. Really breathing deeply. Inhale, come up to center. Inhale, arms come up, fingers spread. Grow an inch, palms come together, and Samasthiti. Hands to heart center. That is it for our practice today, Yogi. Thank you so much for joining me. I really wanted to keep this practice very, very simple. Something that you could do maybe in the afternoon or in the morning just to get a little flow in, right? I wanted you to feel really um, ease and flow and comfort. I wanted you to feel all of those things. So you can do it over and over again whenever you have a spare few minutes to flow. Namaste Yogi, thank you so much for joining me. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this class and comment below what you enjoyed about.